AMG Kilowatt WLTP Sitting at the very bottom of the range, it uses the same engine as the brand's 45 family, the 2.0-litre four-cylinder, albeit with an electric exhaust gas turbocharger, an F1-derived tech, operated via a mild hybrid system. Sound exciting? Well, it's not because behind the big words, it has less power than the Mercedes A45S, otherwise rated at 421 PS, and 500 newton meters. In fact, its output and torque are identical to those of the non-S hot hatch, with 381 PS and 480 newton meters available via the right pedal. The 48 volt system provides an additional short-term boost of 14 PS. Channeling the thrust to the rear wheels is the company's dual-clutch 9-speed automatic transmission. The 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration takes 4.9 seconds, and the top speed is electronically capped at 275 km per hour. Tipping the scales at 1,810 kg, it returns between 8.9 and 9.4 L 100 km on the cycle and emits 201 to 214 g a kilometer of CO2. Some of the gear that its future customers won't have to pay for comprises the AMG Ride Control and AMG Dynamic Select. The AMG Dynamic Plus, with its race driving mode added to the normal offerings comfort, sport, sport plus, individual, and slippery, is an option, and a 10 mm lower ground clearance, electronically controlled limited slip differential and a few other things are included here as well. The active reaxle steering can be ordered at an extra cost, next to other gizmos that are normally reserved for the mid-range SL55 and top-of-the-line SL63 in the looks department. You are going to have to be a new-gen SL connoisseur to tell the 43 apart from the 55 and 63. That's because it has round tailpipes instead of angular ones and sits on 19-inch wheels, Yet the 20 and 21 inch sets can be had as options. As far as pricing and availability go, Mercedes AMG will announce these details in due course. And if we were to bet our bottom dollar on it, we'd say that the new SL43 will be a forbidden fruit in North America.